All right, everybody, welcome to another episode of the Up and In Show. We are here at Cards and Culture on the Purple Couch, and this is our second, third, maybe fourth take, I don't know. Cards and Culture, we're having some technical difficulties, um, but now I'm going to really thank you for your time because we're already 20 minutes late. After. I've been here since Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Brad kidding. Duncan, thank you for your time, man. I know you're a busy man. Um, we're going to get into all kinds of stuff, talking about your, your venture with uh, Duncan Custom Kicks. Um, but why don't you take a second to give a quick intro again of who you are, what you do, that kind of stuff really quick. Brad Duncan, um, 41 years old, uh, five kids, um, three from a previous marriage. Uh, I've got a beautiful stepdaughter um, with my new wife. And then we just kind of had our, our our rainbow baby, as we'll get yes, to here yes, in a minute, yes, yes. Uh, Rhodes Bradley. So five total kids. VP of sales for Brock Services is my main, my main job. Um, but, you know, my, my passion, if you would call it, and hobby is been the the custom kicks venture which yes. led me to this purple couch today yes absolutely yeah. um and if you can't tell you know art is something that's meaningful to me uh the shop has is just filled with it local artists too so once i came across your story saw you on social media saw the things that you were doing um and then you happened to come in the shop too we got to know each other you painted this centerpiece right here for us too which we appreciate hey you're welcome it yes. gave me a break from shoes <laughs> How did you like doing that kind of piece? Was it different? I got to tell you, that was actually fun. It was in the middle of the Gordon McKernan uh, 70 shoe uh, gotcha. order. Yeah. So it really was so, nice to break that up. Yeah, yeah. So when I tell you, when you see shoes, 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 yeah. and then I saw, you know, I, I saw you love the collectibles, right? Yeah. Uh, I forget some of the others that yep. you got. I think you've got the, um, the NFT. Yep. I got NFTs. Monkey. Yeah. I got a couple of them. I got uh, bear bricks. I got cause yeah. dog. Yeah. I got the them bear. all. Yeah. We got a bunch of Funkos obviously. And then something popped across uh, Instagram on the all white. And so I said, you know, that'd be kind of cool to give to some local artists to play with. And I said, let me get one too. So I can look at something other than a Jordan yes. one low. Yes. Cause uh, people are creatures of habit. So no, I actually enjoyed the, the heck out of that seeing, you know, kind of tested my, my artistic capabilities to yeah. see if I can go beyond a, a shoe and I hope to venture out into to other, you know, other products yeah. eventually. No, I love it, man. And, and when I do my bets and breaks show, it's like one of the centerpieces all yeah. the time. Yeah. It's right there. So. No, I appreciate the, yeah. the love and support. As you know, my, my son and I, my son really, really loves the heck out of this. Yeah. If well, you check my, my debit account. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> well, that's why I was like, we love you too. Thank you. Yes. It's a good relationship. Um, but you guys got a nice case hit the last time you came. So that was nice. A little yeah. JJ McCarthy. Yes, uh, I think was it was nice. a cracked ice. Yeah, that was sexy. That was a nice yeah. little card. Yeah. Not an LSU guy, but it's yeah. still, I mean, he's just having a good year this year. So heck of a year. Yeah. yeah it's looking, winning, you know? I know exactly. That card's going to be valuable. Um, but yeah, so we talked about it. Uh, obviously we got into our little show before we had our technical difficulties, but I want to talk back to the story of how all this started. I was fortunate enough to meet Rhodes today before yeah. the show. Um, and like I said earlier, man, it's like what I do here, bring community together. Yeah. I played here at LSU. It's a reason I stayed here from New Jersey, meeting people like you. Um, and that was before I knew this story. So I want to yeah. kind of give you an opportunity to talk about that because, like I said, I've gotten to know you just as a father, as a friend here in the shop. And I've already... Th thought highly of you but after I got to know this story and got to know you even yeah. more like there's even more meaning behind it so why don't you tell me a little bit about how it got how this got started in these two shoes that we have here yeah if you the way I look at it, it's a, a very you know it's a good positive out of a negative situation I so again I go back to you know I've got mine and my wife had hers and yep. we needed ours so yeah. we started down that that journey of trying to conceive a child uh, and unfortunately we had three uh, miscarriages one was being a kind of very tough ectopic pregnancy where you had to go in for emergency surgery and you know mm. you, you wonder kind of yeah. worst case scenario yeah. at that at that time um but as god would have it you know after you know on the fourth attempt um we were able to conceive Rhodes bradley so it gets about what was that month seven eight yeah um you know, you, 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 you're kind of out of the woods on some of the dangerous right. scenarios that doctors kind of play, you know, in your mind uh, yep. when you're when you're about to have the baby. Um, and I'm starting to think, you know, because you owe, you owe a push present, right? Every 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 <laughs> woman knows I that, that push you're going to get a push present. <laughs> Um, and I don't know if you see my checking account, but it's not set up for diamonds <laughs> and, uh, with four kids. Already, yeah, that's what I would imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Four kids in private school uh, is not set up for diamond push presents. Yeah. So I said, you know what? What's the next best thing? Uh, you know, give something unique and personal. Yeah, so yeah. I was on uh, the Instagram for you page and I came across this gentleman who was painting shoes. And I was like, man, that's very, very interesting. So I got just 
stuck in this two hour rabbit hole. I'm sure you've all done it oh, when you're yeah. in bed, you're, you find something you like and you're just yep. scrolling. So then I did a deep dive into kind of how do you paint customs and did some research. YouTube is a, is a hell of a tool yeah, for anybody out there. Yeah. Um, you can learn anything. Absolutely anything. Um, so I, I figured out all the, the things I would need and made my, my first purchase. And I said, you know what? Uh, the baby that comes after a miscarriage, right? It's called a rainbow baby. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I thought of this idea. It's like, you know what? It's not, it's not super, uh, you know, uh, intense on the paint bill, but I thought it would be creative enough to kind of show uh, my wife Paige, you know, kind of a, you know, a, a nice gesture Absolutely, as, you, for, as a push present. So I surprised her um, with this, this rainbow pair for, for Rhodes Bradley. And little did I know that that would, like steamroll this, this, uh, this past year and a half that yeah. has just has been overwhelming uh, by the love and support by everybody um, here locally. Yeah, well, I think people probably feel your energy, man, your, your salt of the earth. And when people know this story, too, that's what I'm excited about my podcast. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you being able to share this. Some of those things aren't the easiest things to yeah. talk about and mm -hmm. stuff. And um, kudos to you guys for getting through those moments, you know, and getting the dude is a stud. Man, he was you know, yeah, it's, I, I was, I was, my wife and I were talking before we came here and I was just like, you know, I can't believe we went through that. But yeah. then, you know, it's kind of, I'm not saying it's forgetful because those are very impactful no, moments no. Yeah, in your absolutely. life. But I tell you, meeting that little guy, he's oh, very, very much eased uh, the pain and the burden of going through that. Because um, he, to, to know him, he is one of the happiest. Yeah, you can just tell uh, him his, his energy was great. And that's yeah. what I'm saying. That's the joy that comes from going through the you know, the unfortunate, I have a tattoo that says through adversity comes strength. And that's my kind of a mindset is like, there's going to be beauty on the other side of pain, right? And that's what that is right there. So you guys had to go through that. He's probably going to be an extraordinary human. He's going to do some really cool things in the world that, you know, and oh, yeah. um, so that's really cool. And, and this is really cool too. And, and especially for how far your journey has come. I kind of told you earlier, one of my greatest things of like when I collect art is watching the journey of an artist, yeah. right? So you were kind of joking like, oh, maybe it's not the best. And I'm like, that's what makes it the best yeah. is like watching your progression and being able to go back and be like, oh my God, I've grown I so much, you know, <laughs> right? like yeah. I can't believe I did that shit like that, you know? Yeah. Um, but we need to get this on an acrylic case somewhere. And, and I have to. Yeah, I, you got to get When you something. brought that up, I yeah. was like, well, I have not thought of yeah. that. Because I had to go dig it out of his closet yeah, to, to bring it. Is... I was like, I think you would you would enjoy seeing this Absolutely, uh, this piece on how yes. the journey kind of started for me. No, origin stories are so important yeah. to me, too. And that's where it's like, I knew it started from somewhere. Um, and that's why, I mean, I didn't know that it had this much magnitude, though. And mm -hmm. that's what's really cool. And then, yeah. you know, just things like this, like gifts that you give me now have that much more mm -hmm. meaning behind it. And every time I see a social post and everything, it's yeah. really cool cool so um appreciate that yeah and and so let's backtrack a little bit because you said you know after this then you had two good friends and we had a mutual friend with pop that yeah, uh, pop, yeah. yeah that kind of supported you and started this journey to really kind of get you moving right yeah shout out to papa earls hopefully that'll give me at least a couple cases of seasoning oh, please for free. maybe two maybe we'll get a sponsor of the podcast let's go please something. pop come on man come on pop I'm doing these shoes for you for basically nothing. I mean, the least you could do is get <laughs> <laughs> some of that Papa Earl. Yeah. If you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's a, is it Cajun seasoning? Or, oh, yeah. yeah. It's unbelievable. You put it on everything. I used to put it on my uh, breakfast potatoes every single morning. Like, you can put it on fish, like chicken, everything. It's, it's a great rub. I don't want to it publicly, but it is phenomenal. I know. You know, <laughs> he's going to see this and get the, the big head. But no, uh, Pop and Lance Arville, two, two people kind of outside of my family, right? I did a couple shoes for my, my nephews. Yep. Uh, Duncan and Paxton um, and it was more than one for my wife it was kind of family trying to just hone in see what yeah. I could do I wasn't really touching the Jordans at the time yeah, yeah. it was more that Nike low vision I don't yeah. know if you've seen those but you could get them for like 60 bucks yeah, exactly. at the Nike yeah, outlet yeah. so my thought at the time was like let's hone in on our skills on a cheaper shoe That's so smart yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need to buy $120 shoes <laughs> right. to be messing up just on them like, damn it yeah just to throw away yeah so you know that started with pop was my very first commission he wanted to he challenged me to kind of create something with that louisiana theme because of his season oh, that's, right. that's yeah, why yeah, i yeah. brought up the yep. pop rolls yep. it's because that's what it led to so i bought a wood burning kit after <laughs> scouring the, the internet on what i could do different and one of the things that i thought was cool and unique was nobody was doing it i mean there's a lot of sneaker yeah. artists out there and a lot of great sneaker artists yeah, yeah. And so what you don't want to do is you don't want to fall into that that trap of just duplicating somebody else's his work. And I wanted yeah. to be kind of unique and stand out and, and produce that true one-on-one because yeah. that's what everybody's looking for, yeah, right, yeah. In, the, in the sneaker community. Absolutely. And so, uh, I, you know, I took a pair. First, I took a pair of the Low Visions, right, <laughs> which little did I know is a different leather um, because it's not the same, but I did practice okay, on the Low okay, Vision. Okay. Yeah. Um, but... Uh, 
Luckily, I didn't mess it up too bad. It was just once you touch that Jordan leather, I mean, it, it started to peel back relatively quick. So you had to move really pretty fast. But yeah, so what we did was I ended up being able to etch in that gator print. Um, so, cool. so when you rubbed it, it kind of gave that yeah. like different texture and feel. Yeah. Um, and he enjoyed it. And like I said, he's been a, a tremendous uh, advocate of me early on as well. And then Lance Arville, more his, his words of encouragement, really yeah. just kind of. You know, he was that guy like, man, you got to really pursue yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he's, 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 a he's a pretty solid guy. And he's yeah. also my chief naming officer. I love uh, that. Yeah. 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 That's yeah awesome. So he, uh, my CNO, I call him. So, <laughs> uh, for those that asked me to do a shoe, I kind of asked, is there a story or a meaning behind these shoes? And then I kind of pass that along to him and he, he, sometimes he's right off. He's like, got yeah, it. he's like, yeah. dude, got it. Yep, Bam. Or sometimes it. Yep. he needs a couple days, uh, because you know, he wants to get it right. He loves yeah. it. He gets that from DJ Khaled. I don't know if you've ever seen kind of when he walks through his, his shoe closet. Yes. He pulls out a shoe and he's like, man, these are called Miami Night Lights. You know? Uh, and so yes. he, he kind of he got that. Uh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, so we get that and I put it on uh, put it on a card with a handwritten thank you note That's with so every badass. shoe that, that goes out just to tell people how appreciative I am for the, for the love and the support. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. What, when was... So... Lance encouraged it, the word, you know, pop supported it. When was it like, oh shit, like, all right, like I actually really start believing this and I'm good at this or I like it or ha have you gotten to that point? No, I, look, I still doubt myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day. Because customizer, there's an ugly part of the shoe. When you're painting, you're like, man, I, I messed this up. <laughs> like, it's like yeah. coat one or two, right. um, especially when you're hand painting and yeah. not on the airbrush because I like to mix in both. So you do airbrush too, yeah. Yeah, if I'm doing a stencil, I really like the airbrush because it, you know, when you're painting, it pushes it through that stencil and you don't create those solid, gotcha. you know, straight lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, every time I, I touch a shoe, I just, sometimes I just get this moment of discouragement. Like, yeah. am I really doing this right? You know, <laughs> am I, and this guy's paying me, right. a, a, you know, a God awful amount of money to yeah. paint the shoe. I want it to be perfect. Exactly. You know, and I'm always, like I said, I always have that self doubt. Yeah. Um, but I think that's what pushes people to keep trying to get better every single day. Um, hundred percent. That's, yeah. and that's what my podcast is about too, is interviewing people that do great things and how they got there. Right. I think there's self doubt with everybody that imposter syndrome, things like that. Right. And you know, I've, I've had artists on my show. I work with artists. Um, it's a lot different when somebody's paying you something yeah. versus I'm doing this as a gift and there's not pressure or there's not expectations. Right. Oh, that so pressure's even, real. Yeah, when somebody exactly. sends you that money to do yeah. a shoe and there's this level of expectation, right. To, to, yep to put out a, a quality product. Absolutely. That's what I mean. Yeah. That's, that's a lot different. And that's when I've talked to artists too. And even, you know, we talked yeah. about how did you start commissioning things? How did you price things? You don't even know what the value yeah. is on things, right? So many artists come in here they're like, what do you think I should sell this for? And I'm like, well, let's compare it to some other things. How, what have you sold it for already? You know, like work your way up, that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. I probably pissed a lot of people off in the, in the custom shoe game early on from a stamp, from a pricing standpoint. Right. But the way I looked at it was like, I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. And so, you know, you already were buying a $120, you know, Jordan one low, for example. Right. And so you're like, what do you, what do you charge knowing that your skill set isn't, you know, at, at this level? And I got to tell you, I met a, like a guy online, Martez Walden. He okay. goes by Crown Nine Customs. Okay. Uh, he now does full builds online. But, you know, YouTube can only get you so far because yeah. they don't, there's, there's some things that, that true artists kind of leave out because it's like trade secrets. But yeah. Martez, when I tell you one of the most selfless people I've ever met, really, I consider him a close friend and we've never physically met, oh, but we talk that. on the phone you know, really? it, every month. Uh, if not, we're communicating yeah. via Instagram or text message every week. So just tips um, on how to like different things. Yeah, so you know, I joked with you before. I was like, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I wasn't even painting the edges, man. The first time, one yeah. of our first interactions was like, man, paint those damn edges. So what, what, edges of what? Like the, so, like when you're doing the, the shoe and you've yeah. got the uh, the Nike check. Yep. Uh, I'm not gonna take my shoe. I don't think <laughs> I don't know how dirty, the, <laughs> but. Um, you've got the edges of that and then the, uh, around gotcha. the toe yeah. box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So when I was painting, I was just leaving those because I didn't know. Yeah. I, I, yeah I, YouTube taught me how to paint, right, right, how right. to prep and how yeah, to paint. Yeah, yeah. But the little things to kind of go about making it, you know, they, the, the saying is customs that don't look like customs. Right. And so that was the ultimate goal of what I was trying to get to. And he, you know, one of the first things he would, would taught me was, 
you got to paint the edges, man. Yeah. I'm tired of looking at your edges. <laughs> and <laughs> and he was it. brutally honest with yeah, it. But good, I got to yeah. tell you, uh, the way he went about it and the way he answered every single question for I me, um, I wouldn't be where I'm at today yeah. um, with the quality of work because he probably took a full 12 months of, of a learning curve. Yeah, learning yeah. curve off your plate. And yeah, yeah dude, just tremendous, tremendous gentleman. Yeah. But if you ever get a chance, like I know you like, he stopped painting. Uh, I like to say I forced him into retirement. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, that's my joke. Yeah. If I said, man, that, you taught me, I started, you taught so, me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but now he does full custom builds now where he'll go buy the exotic leathers. Like, so that's what I was asking. What's a full custom build? So he's building the shoe? Yeah. He'll take a, a, a donor sole. He'll buy. He'll go buy a shoe to get the colorway of the sole to match, and, and he'll glue it on. He'll he'll cut the fabric. He'll hand sew it. On. I mean, the guy is just it's it's phenomenal. Oh my like god! If, I so love if that. you're if you're yeah. not into the painting game, yeah. game, and want to get tr like a true build, one of that guy. Wow. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll have to put his stuff in the show notes. That's really cool. I got to look that up. I, yeah, because he like I tell you, I, and I tell people this all the time. Yeah. Y'all better get on him early. Because he's about to... Because, like, the shoe surgeon yeah, is, yeah. like, $10,000 right, right, right. for a shoe. This guy is probably 25% of the cost, yeah. and the quality of work is... Is there. Is there. He just doesn't have that household name. Right, but right, it, right. The, I see it. It's kind of like with Lance uh, Arbor. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, exactly. I'm like, yeah. dude, do you... Don't doubt yourself, man. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, and that's what I think... I, I think... I. I appreciate about art is like, all right, I believe in this artist. I want to buy their work. Mm -hmm. I want to support them. I want to shout them out. It's similar to the things you're doing with shoes. I'm like, this is really cool. This is really unique. This story needs to be out there. You're working with big people that are asking for your shoes. Like, I think that's a huge deal. Um, and that's the thing that's exciting for me is watching that, that progress too. So yeah. How did, how, who was the first? So Lance pop starts you yeah. off. What's the next, who's the next big one? How does it, how does it start? So actually my first athlete was Jack Besh. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, so he was on my podcast. Yeah. So yeah. one of the times I came in, I saw yeah. the jersey. I was like, yep. man, I need to get me one yeah, of the jerseys. Because one of the things I like doing now is I hate asking mm -hmm. people. I'm not going to ask an athlete. Because, yeah, yeah, you for, know, yeah. I don't want to develop that kind of relationship. So I started collecting uh, the Angel Reese shoes, right? Yeah, I came in here right. and bought the signed yep. card. So yep. my son and yep. I, with our collecting uh our new collections hobby, right? Yeah. We, we started collecting the athletes I was doing shoe for. So, but uh, Blaine Besh, uh, Jack's uncle, yep. said, hey, you know what? You know, another good friend that was encouraging me early on with, with Lance and Pop yeah. said, hey, let's do, a, let's do an LSU themed uh, shoe for Jack. That's awesome. Good thing we decided to go with all purple. Yeah. Because <laughs> you can still use that TCU. You can still use it at TCU. <laughs> but I did, I did re up his, his shoe game That's for, nice. for, for this year. I gave yeah. him a TCU uh, Air Force One colorway. That's but awesome. He was my first uh, official athlete. That's but cool. I didn't get it directly from him. It was right. through Blaine. But super appreciative. Yeah. For, for, he liked him when he got him. Yeah. We, uh, we ended up meeting at that little sushi restaurant over by Walk On's nice. corporate office. Yeah. My first yeah. official, like, I'm Delivery. Yeah. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> and he was so did he tell people about it? He shouted out, did he take a picture? Yeah, How's it? As soon as he got in his car, I mean, it was kind of my first like, oh man, yeah, this is kind of cool. He sick. was like, Man, Duncan's custom kicks hooked it up. And I think I went from like three followers to like, you know, five hundred relatively quick. Yeah, 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 I'm yeah. like, oh okay, this is I guess That's is how nice. you, <laughs> you progressively and organically grow yeah. your, your social media uh yep. present. Because I, I am not good at, at social media. Yeah. Pictures, videos, I don't know if you've seen my page. I'm like, five basic photos, and then here's the <laughs> shit. You know? Damn, we need to, I was actually, the first thing I was thinking of was when you were talking about the spray paint is, we should do some content with him for this Valley Vision, something, cover it, like go with him, put some content on it, because that's my favorite part of it, and it would be nice to like show that and story tell that too. Yeah. Um, because we'll jump around and we'll figure out how right. you got to this point, but... Talk to me about the Brian Kelly shoes, Gordon, all that stuff, because uh, Gordon McKernan, obviously, if you guys aren't from Baton Rouge, huge personal injury attorney. He's on every billboard. He does some incredible stuff with LSU. Um, and he, and he's, you know, he gives back to the community a lot. And so now you, you have a, a contract with him or an agreement, I guess you could say partnership. I, I would say it's more of a partnership because yeah, there's yeah. nothing really on paper. Right, right. But uh, actually... A Nothing guy on paper with a lawyer. Wow. Yeah. That's it's, crazy. A, it's a handshake. <laughs> no. So actually I got connected with, uh, with Gordon through a guy named Jeff Watson. Okay. Um, and he's not a new contact. Yeah. Matter, 
Sorry about that. Yeah, Didn't mean to knock good. that over. You're good. I actually, uh, as a child, would go travel and watch him play three-on-three -three basketball. Who? Because Gordon? Jeff Watson. Oh, oh okay, okay. Yeah, so Jeff Watson is an attorney for Gordon McCurney. Gotcha. Okay, okay. Uh, but I had a babysitter at a time who was dating this gentleman who did the travel three-on-three -three basketball. I don't know if you kept no. that. Yeah, they'll play outdoor three-on-three -three basketball. What? And so I was this, you know. Typical punk kid walking around <laughs> pants in them. <laughs> uh, that's the story he remembers. It, me incredible. being a kid. So yeah. uh, a mutual friend reconnected us. And he was like, you know, to know Jeff is to know his passion and love for Jordan. He's got a Jumpman logo tattooed on his leg. Really? Yeah. And he'll tell you, he owns like 70 plus pair of Jordans and oh has God. an insane Michael Jordan car collection uh, as well. That's so. Pretty cool. So I connected with him and he's like, hey, I want to do a shoe for G. I think he would like that. He likes things. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And so he's like, you think we can do something branded? And I was like, yeah. So I got the G logo and I incorporated the crocodile yes, uh, dude, edge was, print. Yep. Yeah. And when G got them, you know, G, when he sees something that's unique and different, yep. he's like, you know what I need to do? This is going to be my employee gifts for this year because yeah. every year. Uh, as it was told to me, he gifts like uh, something custom. I think last year was like custom suit jackets for his team. Sure. And so yeah. he was like, Brad, what are your thoughts on doing a <laughs> It started at 50. Yeah. Let's be honest. I don't, I don't want to say I committed to a 70 shoe order right off the bat. Yeah. But it started with 50 and it built up to, to ultimately ending it at 70, which I found out this morning. I left off the CEO's uh, shoes. So I'll probably get fired for... <laughs> The CEO? <laughs> yeah, so, Come on, bro. Yeah, so I, I apologize uh, to the to him for not getting his shoes. But I just got a text on the way over here from Jeff going, hey, man, did you do so-and-so shoes? And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I'm saving a special pair yeah. for him. And he's yeah. like, good call. He's just the CEO. I'm like, this is awesome. So, yeah, so I don't I don't know if I'm going to get to do anymore. I don't yeah. know. Uh, but, no, so I, I, I tell you, I had to go back and really think about it because, like I said, this is a hobby for me. Yeah. So it's lots of nights and weekends. Yeah. And so you still want to be present as a father right. in, in your kids' lives. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not like you're coming home at 5 and start painting and then, you know, yeah. disregard everything else right. going on. Um, so I said, look, could I incorporate some help? And yeah. I forget who said it, but they said it best. It was like, man, when you hire Gordon McKernan, you're not getting Gordon McKernan 100% right. exactly. of the time. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're getting that quality work and getting it done. Exactly. You know? So yeah. I was like, see what you did there. Yeah, you see that? <laughs> Shameless plug. Uh, but so I said, okay. So I reached out to another artist that had been doing it for three to five years. And I was like, hey, what are your thoughts? This is kind of the price range they're looking for. And he said, man, I'm I'm all in. Come to find out, young kid, that this is what he does full time. And he's like it. literally in the process of getting married. So he's like, you're actually helping me because my business was slow. Yeah. Um, and so I kind of teamed up. His name's Caleb Williams. Okay. He goes by uh, Discomfort on, on Instagram. Nice. And he's he's been a tremendous help pushing me through that that hurdle. Because I got to tell it. you, yeah. I, that's still not doing all 70. Yeah. There's still a gauntlet. Yeah. Because um, like I said, apparently we're at 69 shoes. I got to go back and do the, <laughs> the 70th this week. Uh, and what was the time frame that you had to do those in? So that's what I was super appreciative of, Gordon, right? You set expectations early and, and the deliverables. And I was like, hey, you guys know that, one, what we did was it wasn't like here's a cookie cutter design to choose from. Right. We literally said, have free reign. Oh, God. You know? Oh, God. Have free reign and design whatever you want. Some people took it home to, and their kids drew on a piece of paper and they sent it back and we made it happen. Um, so that was the unknown was scary. So I was like, hey, look, this is relatively going to be like a six to seven month process. Yeah. He was like, I understand. It's one of one. You know, it was going to take at least a month to get everybody to get their designs. Yeah, in. exactly. Um, yeah. But I got to tell you, it was one of the cool moments of that was they invited me to Top Golf. So he's doing his leadership meeting at Top Golf. And you know, Gordon is tremendous in gift giving. And so he sets up two tables. And forgive me, I forget the name of the store that was next to me, but it was Golden Gooses. Okay. So he was giving guys the option to, to just do customs, but girls had the option to do custom Jordans yeah. or Golden Gooses. And I'm like, Oh my God. I'm not getting a single woman. <laughs> okay, I'm not getting a single yeah. woman walking to this table. Yeah. Put, but I got to tell you, it was like 60, 70% it, of yeah. the women are like, my husband's going to be so mad yeah. that, that I'm about to get some custom yep. J's because yep. he's a sneakerhead. And yep. this is what I, I was like, yep. are you sure? Because yeah. <laughs> these golden gooses. Yeah. People fucking eat that gold, those golden oh. goose. Like, it's crazy. 
Oh. It's unbelievable. And the cost. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like, if he's taking care of that, I was like, oh. Yeah, I'm like, getting the golden goose, going on eBay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> flipping that shit. Yep. Flipping that exactly. and seeing if I can't get a, a yeah. fake pair of golden yeah. gooses for like 68 bucks. <laughs> yeah, making my Christmas bonus really nice then, yeah. Yeah, but that, that was kind of a, I really enjoyed that moment. That's cool. It no, like, it is. That's validation. Yeah. That's a lot of work. Like, yeah. that's really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, and that's what I was saying earlier. I, I can't remember if it was the first cut or whatever, but <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I always like to ask people that, in my opinion, have made have done big things, have mm -hmm. done really cool things. When did you realize that? You know, when were these moments of actualization when you're like, huh, oh, there's validation. Oh, maybe I maybe I do have this right. And that that had to have been one of them right then and there. No, it was. And I got to tell you, so I, I get, like I said, a self-doubt sets in. Yeah. And because a lot of people don't really give you exactly. Now, luckily for Gordon, right? They they drew out exactly what they wanted. Yeah. But a lot of people, when they come and ask you for a custom, they don't have anything in mind. And right. I'll like, it'll They're be- They're like, you're it, the creative. Yeah. I don't want to, yeah. And it'll be so tough. Like, I'll be like, can you just give me like, get, hey, you know, for take a, a female, for example, I'll say, hey, like, what is- What's like your two favorite colors? Like, right. what what do you what outfit do you see yourself wearing jewelry? Right, because right, right, right? right. they oh, girls have it planned. One hundred percent. And then I'll go from there. So, it's that you, that doubt sets in when you you're walking up to them with that box and they're about <laughs> to see it for the you know. Right, right. But I gotta tell you, the validation comes from they open it up and you see that true mm -hmm. emotion because oh, what I, I like that. to do on a majority of my shoes, if they you know if they don't want to see a progressive you yeah. know, step by step, you know I do allow that if they yeah, want to yeah, see yeah. it. That's cool. But most of the times they're like just surprise Spr me. Yeah. So. This is sight unseen, but seeing their face just naturally and yeah. how they light up. Uh, the moment that really stands out for me was, you know, of that 70 shoe order, well, I said it started at 50 and progressed, is Gordon started to incorporate some of his athletes and some metal shoe coaches. And one of the uh, shoes he asked to do is a collaboration with Angel Reese. Um, and just seeing her face light up. That's so awesome. You know, everybody calls this is it after, fight. Is this after the national championship too? Um... No, I, I'm trying to remember the time frame. I think it was before. Yeah, I think it was before. Yeah, it was before because yeah. so cool. so awesome. tell you the thing that really uh, it, I'm kind of sad about is you know now she signed with Reebok. Right. So, oh yeah, damn. They, yeah. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. yeah. So, oh. Got to tell G she needs to. Yeah. <laughs> she needs a, a custom Reebok. Pair just, get, just get a blank canvas uh, Shaq shoe. The big ones that should that would yeah. be awesome. Shaq, if you're watching, can you send us a <laughs> Shaq? Yeah, he's my next guest actually on the show. <laughs> we have a bigger purple couch coming for him. I was about to say. Yeah, we wouldn't fit on this one. <laughs> no, sir. Yeah. <laughs> no, sir. Uh, so what did you do with Angel? So he, so when he commissions you or when he asks you to work with some of his athletes, that's one of the, the NIL deals that he does for them, right? He's paying them or gifting them or they're an athlete for him, and that's a gift that he's given them? Yeah. I don't know how it works, and I right. don't want to say something and right, be right, wrong. Right. That's right? what I'm saying. So, but, yeah, it's, it's tied into the, you know. Yeah, the NIL uh, stuff. The yeah. NIL stuff. But, yeah, it was kind of cool because, you know, she calling herself the Bayou Barbie. So, yeah. Matt... Right off the bat, I'm like, I've got some creative ideas that I want to do around kind of black and pink. Yeah. Um, and I originally started out with like an all black shoe and incorporating some pink. But it was kind of cool. You know, I think uh, Jeff Watson and team were reaching out to her and going back and forth on kind of what they what she wanted. Right. Yeah. They were asking her input. Yeah. Not to design it completely, but like, hey, what do you think of this? Right. This mock up. Um, she kind of shifted it around and, and kind of wanted to incorporate it on the base white shoe. Um, but I had to, you know, I had to throw that BB by you Barbie 100%. and put some, some sparkle bling on it. Yeah. They, <laughs> she so, loved it. Yeah. Man, I, to see her face when she got it That's was so priceless cool. for me. Cause yeah. you know, G again, super thoughtful yeah. guy. He, he doesn't miss a step invited me. Yeah. You know, he could have chose to right. do that. Just with, do it on his yeah. own. Yeah. But he, he invited me into his office. So I got to see that, that firsthand, um, and get to see that natural reaction no. when he gifted it to her. So that was, to me, that was like. Yeah. Yeah. This is kind of awesome. That is yeah. awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying is I'm like living through you through this. Cause I, again, I, I've been on the athlete side where people gift us really cool shit. And I love that. It's always been cool, but I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm always fascinated by that stuff. Cause I was never create. I, when I was a kid, literally, I remember like having group projects and stuff and yeah. being looking around and being like, where's the good artist person. Who's going to make our presentation good. Team you know? up with them. Yeah. So I was like, I need to go with them. I can tell you what to do, yeah. but I can't make it come to life. Cause I know what it needs to look like to get people yeah. to like it, but I can't do the brush strokes. I can't draw shit. I can't do it. I, I wouldn't say that though. I, I, I swear. Didn't I see on your Instagram page recently? Are you picking back up sketching? I do some sketching, but come on now. It's, don't, don't sell yourself. It's short. scribbling. It's scribbling a 
enough where it's like I just go enough where you can tell what the shape is, and they're like, "Oh, that's cool." But that wasn't like doodling that? in math class. No, I mean, that right. was yeah. some talented. No, stuff. I have a whole sketchbook of stuff. Like okay. I really do, and I I enjoy doing it. But that's what I'm saying is I don't think I'm very good, and I appreciate just seeing like I I do the same thing. I have an, on my Instagram. I have this one pencil sketch artist. It's so it's such like. It looks like a photo I'm yeah. like, and it just amazes me. He does a hundred hours of work on a, on a painting or a, a sketch or whatever, but that kind of stuff just is fascinating to me. So seeing that come to life um, is just so, so interesting to me and why I love artists so much because yeah. to be able to have that creative brain power, put it on a canvas, then get and evoke emotion out of somebody like you did with Angel Reese or somebody yeah. like that's connecting to me. I'm like, I'm living through you guys. I'm like, I love that shit. Yeah. yeah I, really I tell cool. you, it's, I, I love that. That's the part that I love the most. It's not the, people resharing it. Yeah. I, I like that somebody exactly. felt like, you know what? I want to wear something yeah. you know, Duncan's custom exactly. kicks created. And that yeah. to me is just yeah. super fun. And I love like the other day I went to the girls basketball game and you ran into five people wearing my customs. Like we got to get a photo. 100%. <laughs> this is kind of cool. I saw that. Yeah. yeah. That so, was really cool. Yeah. I've been enjoying it thoroughly. And you do some stuff with BK, right? So yeah. Brian Kelly, the head coach at LSU football is yeah. wearing your shoes on his tiger walk. No big deal. Yeah, no. <laughs> like it's no. just casual. Like, no, it's not a big deal. That yeah. has been a super fun uh, how, how did that come about? So Brian Oliver and Mackenzie yeah. uh, Landry, Landry. Yeah. Uh, with Bayou Traditions, yep. right? So it, it didn't start with doing the Tiger Wall. Okay. They had reached out because, you know, Bayou Traditions is a relatively new collective, right? Yep. And everybody's learning in the NIL space, right? Yep. It's like drinking water from a fire hose at, <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Um, and so what we did was he was doing that event at Supper Club. Um, shout out to Leighton over there. If he wants to throw me some Wagyu <laughs> nigiri. Seriously. I would Oof. appreciate that. Dude, Is have you ever met Leighton? No, I don't think so. I met him. Yeah, I met, I met him in, in passing. Truly an yeah. amazing guy, but a, a just a more unbelievable cook, chef. Okay. Just whatever you call him. Yeah. Dude, yeah. So you got to go there. Um, but they wanted to do a shoe for BK, and the thought was to uh, auction it off. But uh, something happened around that where it didn't end up doing live auction items at the event. So he actually kept them uh, for himself. Okay. Uh, and so my validation moment that that time was there's another guy uh, that's over there at the uh, at the football program, Jordan Arsenal. Okay. Snapped a photo, and they were sitting on his desk as you walk into yeah. his office. So yeah. to me, I was like. You know, you always wonder, like, what happened to the shoes? Does he, does he like them? Does he right. wear them? But for him to have them displayed in a manner to which people can see when they walked in was kind of cool for me. 100%. And then I think they get they landed, like, a big five-star athlete a uh, couple months later, yeah. and the shoes are in the picture with him, right, with the LSU. Yeah, that. I'm just like. That's cool. And, you know, it's, it, I didn't even notice at first. I had friends, like. Dude, you're Dude, yeah. Are these? Yeah. Are these? I'm like, yeah, they are. Yeah, that's, that's I was like, really this cool. This is super cool. But. You know, Brian and, and McKenzie are just two great people as well. Yeah. And the thing around trying to do the Tiger Walk for home games was trying to bring an awareness to Bayou Traditions. Right. I don't think everybody truly knows, right, that there is a collective and a way that you can donate money to help fund student athletes, yep. right? Um, I think the gist of it is, right, you can kind of gear where you want it, to which sport you're wanting it right, to right, go right. to. I think you can almost get it down to the player. Yeah. I'm not 100 percent positive. Is it 504 C3? Is it is it tax? Ooh, you might know. want to get them on yeah, the yeah, no, and talk about that. <laughs> I probably <laughs> should, honestly. But yeah, because I'm, I'm starting to lie. People think they get a new tax break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're gonna be calling. Yeah. All of a sudden, people start calling. Yeah. Yeah. So, but no. Uh, what was cool about that was so the concept is he comes down Tiger Walk yep. right LSU Athletics gets great footage. He's got the Bayou Traditions shoe tags. Which I get custom made locally from yeah. a, a girl named Sarah for it with okay. Go Magical. Okay. She does acrylic earrings gotcha. for, for ladies awesome. here. And I was, yeah. She was like, hey, I think I could do some some custom shoe tags. And you know, branding is big for people, yeah. right? They want a unique way to so I was like, we did the uh, Bayou tradition. So instead of having it on BK shoes painted on, oh, right? Cool. It was still a way that he could wear and still yeah. advertise. So what they do is like Tuesday, Wednesday of the following home game. Yeah. They'll post it on LSU football and tag, you know, Brian Kelly and then Bayou Traditions as well. And they'll reshare. And you're able to to enter for an opportunity to to win his game or shoes. That's I think sick. one entry is ten bucks um to enter. Yeah. That's so awesome. all it takes is ten bucks to enter. But Money goes to the collective then? Yeah. Goes uh, to the collective. That's so really I think cool. you'll see either today or tomorrow the shoes he wore for the last uh texas a &M yeah game. texas a&m yeah, game so, that's really cool yeah i'm hoping that continues it's pretty cool like i said it was just you know you get friends you know going to the tiger yeah. walk and just to go see kind of what bk was was wearing that week so i'm fascinated by it and it's something that i told abby 
you know, fashion is such popular culture yeah. nowadays too. I was like Valley vision. So start picking up different things. Like we were, we were talking about like calling it fit check, yeah. you know, oh, where yeah. the coaches, the, the women's coaches, like we go take uh, yeah. pictures of their fits, their shoes, all that stuff. BK's walk down the thing. Like, and it's like, becomes a thing of her brand of what the LSU coaches are wearing, what it means. And you know, there's so many things going on, oh, like yeah. my cleats, my call or my cause, my cleats type yeah. things, you know, like, Oh, well, <laughs> what? I'm sad about the my cleats, my, my calls, my why, cleats. Why, game. why, So, um, nah, I think I can talk about it. Yeah. I'm not sure. But, uh, we can cut so, it if you need, if we need nah, to. Nah, I, I think it's okay. okay. So, uh, I just, I don't have a picture, so I'm not yeah. releasing it. So, you know, through this process, yeah. uh, I call him the connector of people, uh, Anthony Piazza. Oh, yeah. You know, yep. uh, as Boyce pointed out. <laughs> there he is. Tony there. Soprano. Yes, the Tony wall. Soprano like, of Baton Rouge, yes. Yeah, why is Uncle Anthony on the wall here? <laughs> I had to explain to him, but <laughs> never mind. But he connected me with Peter Wright, you know, Lord Murray. Yes. I think they've got some some high-level engagement mm -hmm. um, with some professional athletes, Joe Burrow being one of them. Yeah. But it wasn't really – our discussion with, with Peter wasn't really around doing anything for the athletes. It was like, hey, could I do something for the Joe Burrow Foundation? So oh, we cool. originally did two shoes for Miss Robin and Mr. Jimmy, um, Joe's mom and dad. Yeah. Um, and then kind of rumor came back to me through Peter was like, man, they liked them so much. I don't think they want to wear them. I think they want to actually auction these off to, to, to generate funds, yeah. um, for the foundation. Great cause, right? Yeah. Feeding those that are, yeah. you know, less fortunate and, and hungry through trying yep. times. Um, and then that kind of led to, you know, I get a text from Peter one day and he's like, Hey, I threw your name in the hat to, to do, uh, my claws, my cleats for Joe Burrow. I'll let you know. And I'm just like, <laughs> Oh, um, like you can't just blow past it. Yeah, that. you're like, wait, uh, I'm like, so like, how, how, when should I know? Like, yeah, like, do I should be looking at my phone every day? Yeah. Like, when do they decide? And you know what I mean? I'm like, I can't tell Boyce this because Boyce oh, is going to lose his mind. He be, yeah, he'd be going yeah, crazy. Yeah, so, um, you know, I, I think a week or two later, he comes back and he's like, congrats. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yeah. So you did Joe Burrow? And I'm like, congrats on what? He's like, they selected you. Start mocking up your the shoe. So um, it's sad, sad. I was, man. I was so, like, but your your reaction to it was not positive. So I'm yeah, like, wait, so, what? Because here's why: is because you know, not many people get to do a shoe for an NFL player, right? Right. And for my first NFL player to be Joe Burrow with the yeah. just the crazy collecting yeah. piece, right? Of Boyce yeah. and I, we're going through all the Jamar Chases, yeah. Justin Jeffersons, Joe Burrow cards, right? Because you, you've seen him in here, and that's oh, all yeah. he wants to buy yeah, when we come in here. So to get that. I was just like, I'm talking about the highs of the highs. I can imagine. So I get selected. I do the shoes, you know, working with Peter and team. And we get them delivered. And matter of fact, that Thursday morning of the Thursday night football game, yeah. um, Peter texts me. He's like, confirmed he's going to rock them on the Monday night football game, December 4th <laughs> against Jacksonville Jaguars. Oh, my God. And I'm like, so. <laughs> that would be this year's December 4th yeah. game? Oh so I'm like, you're not only giving me an NFL debut right you're giving, you're me, giving me joe burrow on monday, monday night, football. night football. I'm like, there's no other competition every eye is on that game that I, watches yeah. nfl football and, and joe I'm burrow like, is this the guy is, this is my like yeah this is my moment and then that was thursday morning and then he ends up hurting his wrist that that thursday oh night. my um, god that so, day yeah and so they're texting me and i'm like how can i be upset i mean right. this guy hurt himself and he's out right. for the season right. so the emotional roller coaster that that you're on because you're like, man, I'm upset about the project, but I'm yeah. more upset that you know yeah, one of our out. favorite yeah, players yeah, yeah, is yeah, out and can't yeah. participate uh, in a game. So it was going to be my cool moment. I still believe that there are going to be some marketing aspects yeah. around that shoe. Yeah. So I look for that to come out on Instagram on the Joe Burrow Foundation. I believe he he's still going to be auctioning it off. Is last I heard. All right. So uh, December fourth, you said right? That's the Monday no. That right. was the Monday night football. Oh, okay, day. He okay, was okay. Going to debut so just him. yeah, but just look for his cleats when he, when he does the my cleats. My, yes, is it sir. my cleats? My cause or my? Cause? I think it's my cause. My cleats. That's yeah. yeah. That's it. Yeah, and that's so right. yeah. Um, yeah, look for that. I, I won't release anything until no, after he does. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. It was super. Uh, that oh, was like wow. my. That was like my <laughs> yeah. That would have been talk about a coming out party. Jeez. Yeah. Hey, yeah. And, and look, hey. Peter Wright has been uh, tremendous. I'm, yeah. I'm doing 14 shoes for him right now as um, Christmas gifts for his office. I'm gonna go see him Friday. But he's just been uh, just one of those tremendous this people that I have met throughout this process yeah. and this journey. Because um, then it led to you know his business partner Blaine Lord out in Los Angeles wanting to do another 21. Yeah. Right. So it's just you know I, I say. 
you know, everybody says, you know, I think I said this on our first cut. If yeah. I'm being redundant, I'm sorry. No, but, what? you know, they say it's like six degrees of separation. Yeah. But Baton Rouge is truly one degree of separate. Everybody knows everybody. And it's just crazy how something can start off as a concept as so small as yes. doing Rainbow Baby Infant Air Force Ones to uh, the, the different rooms I'm now sitting in to be able to, to discuss doing custom one-of-one shoes or cleats yeah. with, with people. It's tr- I just... I'm beyond blessed and I'm thankful and I hope this journey never ends. <laughs> I saw that in your Instagram bio. You're like, it's, I can't believe the places and the yeah. people that I've met through this journey. Like, and to me, I think that's why you're going to continue to grow, why you're going to continue to have success. I think that anybody that meets you feels the exact, uh, in my experience, anybody that's met you feels the exact same way, man. Your energy, the way that you carry yourself, the way that you care about people and stuff like that is very evident. And um, that one degree of separation is good and bad too. People can yeah. learn quickly about people, right? But everything oh. that you bring, <laughs> I've to seen the, the good yeah. and, and, the, exactly. and the bad of yeah. it in town. But you know what? In Louisiana, they they've got some solid, some very solid people. That's why I live here from New yeah. Jersey. It's coming up. I'm on my 17th year living down here. From yeah. I grew up 17 years in Jersey, but it's got the to people. meet your mom. That's it. Yeah. That's right. On uh, yeah. uh, oh, was that, that the uh, Friday? Friday? Black Friday. Black right? Friday yeah. deal. Yeah. Black Friday was crazy here. There was so, that was a long day. That was wild. Man, I, I, when we but were yes. opening, you had like four or five people breaking, looking for cases. <laughs> it was wild. Yeah, it really was a great day though. But that's again, that's why I chose to stay down here. The people that come to the shop support me. I knew that I could start a business here because of the community of LSU baseball and and LSU sports. Uh, people like yourself that care about the next generation of athletes coming through and yeah. um, you know want to give back to the community yeah. and stuff. So yeah, I as a former athlete, as a business owner, I appreciate you. I appreciate yeah. everything that you're doing. Um, big fan of your brand and everything. It's it's, I, I I truly believe it's just starting. Especially if you're telling me the stuff about my cleats, my cause, or my cause, my cleats yeah. with Joe Burrow. I mean, you just never know where that where that that's it where that you leads. Right, it just takes one. You never know. That's it. Yeah. Joe, any other questions you think with LSU athletes, football, anything that you want to ask? Yeah, so you're, you know, spending a lot of your time now, uh, you know, painting <laughs> Jordans and, you know, with this obsession with uh, Jordan and Jordan shoes. Uh, I guess that begs the question, is it, uh, is it Jordan or LeBron? Because I know you got a guy sitting on the couch who <laughs> might share a different opinion. Oh, I, before I dive into this. Let's go. <laughs> are you LeBron? I'm, I think so. Man, it's, it's, it's so hard because I... I feel like, how old are you? You said 41? 41. 41, Okay, yeah. so we're five, six years apart. Okay. I caught Jordan at the end of his career and a little bit, the baseball side, the comeback, the championship, the Wizards, right? So, yeah. like, I saw that Jordan. I didn't see the early, late 80s Jordan, <laughs> early 90s. I didn't really see that. So, I saw LeBron from when I was in eighth grade. You, you? you know what I'm saying? Like, a great question, where, by the way. Yeah, it is. And so for me, there's like, it's just the yeah. timing of things. I got a little bit of Jordan, so it's like, I get it. I think he's the greatest player that's ever played the game of basketball. I truly believe that. But I think if we're talking about the greatest of all time, I think LeBron brings more to the table, brings more to the basketball community. I think he's done more for the game than Jordan, even though I know Jordan's got billions of dollars in shoes and changed the shoe game. But I think my opinion is LeBron's the greatest of all time. I'm with you on, on that. So the way I always break it down is like, realistically, if it was one-on-one, I mean, just look at the the sheer size yeah. and athletic ability. Yeah. I always say one-on-one, LeBron's probably beating Jordan. See, one-on-one, I think Jordan beats LeBron. No, I don't. I don't. Wow. I don't. I don't. Y'all but, switching sides on me now. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, that's what I said. I said, I think on the court, MJ, like, I want MJ with the ball if I want to win a game. MJ would stab his own mother to win the basketball game. <laughs> exactly. And that's, that's where I – so look, so I got to let you know. So early on, I was LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Yeah. Okay? So much so that we would try – we would go and watch at least one game of the NBA Finals when he was at Cleveland. Oh, a friend of mine yeah. would fly us up. I love that. And we uh, – you know, I've seen some pretty epic games uh, of yeah. LeBron. And he is super talented. But – just Jordan was a dog. And I just, I feel like, and don't think less of me for this. It, I just think LeBron's missing that just true killer instinct. You know, Michael's like, give me the ball, get the hell out of the way. Absolutely. And I, and I don't disagree. And that's why I say, I think MJ is the best basketball player that's ever played the game of basketball. I want him with the ball at the end of the game. I want him to win the game for me. But when I, when I think of the impact that LeBron has on generations of men too that's to me i think setting an example as a family man you know investing in his family growing the game doing different things that way 
you know, Jordan was all he cared yeah. about it was winning. That's yeah. it. You know, what when saying? you look at it from that perspective, yeah. and right, that's outside more the court, yeah. Yeah. right? He uh, just yeah. with his. Uh, I think his school that he's yeah, got schools, yeah. foundations. I yeah. mean, and like I said, I think just being an example, putting his woman first, you know, and like high school, like, I just think what he stands for is bigger than the game. And that's where it's like, I think he's the greatest of all time when you say that blanket statement. Yeah. But like I said, I think on the court, I'm like, give me MJ. I'm like, yeah. give me MJ. MJ is a doll. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And yeah. when you want to win a game, that's if I'm playing NBA blacktop on 2K, I'm picking MJ all day, every day over LeBron all day, every day. I'm going to pick that game up. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> hey, it's fun. If you're a gamer, I am. I 2K am is such a fun game. Not just like the my player, but you can yeah. do a blacktop and like, it's it's just it's an awesome game. Yeah. You guys spend some time there. Yeah. If Robert Royal is watching, tell me he needs to get that basketball Let's go. game because I'm, I'm get... already I'm already smoking him right now in Fortnite. So you're a Fortnite if, guy? Yeah, oh, I, I love it. I know. Yeah. I, it, you know, it's mixed reviews. You say Fortnite, and everybody's like, "Are you a teenage boy?" No. <laughs> I'm like. Look, man, I'm playing with 38 to 45 year old men. I'm not, I'm not online with. I you. was a boy at one time, yeah, and so I'm now I'm just online just with children. <laughs> yeah, yeah. whooping up on the teenagers in the lobby. Oh yeah, exactly. when they get on, dude, you better not uh, open up proximity. Chat. Yeah. Are you a mic guy? Oh, I gotta be a mic. Let's guy. go. Uh, you know, I gotta, we gotta get on there together. Let's go. Let's play some Call of Duty. Let's do I love, it. I love Call of I'm Duty. I'm not yeah. very talented at Call of Duty, okay. but I can I can figure it out. I haven't played Call of Duty in in, in a few months. No. When I was playing baseball. No. I'm I'm a little ashamed to say how good I was at Call of Duty. Like it was, right. you're like, yeah. wait, I'm like, I, I shouldn't play this much. But it was, I was obsessed yeah. with it. I loved it. That was my escape. It was like yeah. I played four hours a night when I was done playing the game. Like it was, it was. Yeah. It's a good, uh, you know, unwind. Yeah, it was, yeah. But the problem was when I would wake up in the morning, eat breakfast, and then go play Call of Duty and be like, all right, I have to be. I'm going to get to the field at two. That gives me an hour and a half to play yeah. Call of Duty. I'm like. That's when I had to draw the line, yeah. you know. Can we bring this into the dug? Or into the we locker? did that. At, we did that at times. We literally got in trouble. We would bring it into our into our yeah. locker room and into our like we would move our clothes over it so they they couldn't see, and then we would just sit at our locker and play each other. Especially two K. That was. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's a good obsession. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I like it. Good times. I like it. Uh, well, Brad, thank you, man. Um, I'm going to let you get out of here. This was this was really awesome. Thank you for this. Um, if there's anything you want to leave anybody where they can find you, where they can get a pair of your shoes, you want them to just reach out on Instagram, that kind of stuff? Yeah, so the best place to reach out to me is at Duncan's Custom Kicks um, on Instagram. Um, you know, give me a moment to respond. It's The inbox seems to be a yeah. little full lately. Yeah, that's and then thing. I do want to, you know, let... I, it's not like I did have somebody comment on my post was like, do you just do shoes for celebrities? And I'm like, obviously you're new here because yeah. <laughs> if you look at my, my base business, yeah. I, I try to do it uh, for anyone in all walks of life yeah. in Baton Rouge, because to me, I think it's super cool that somebody just even wants to wear something that I created. So if you just give me a little time, I do have some, some large orders I'm trying to play catch up on and it is kind of nights and weekends, but I will eventually get back to you. Um, yeah. and I would love to do a pair for you, but like I said, just need a couple months to get through this, this big push. And then yeah. I kind of want to slow it down a little bit to, yeah. you know, catch my breath and then ramp back up. I feel you. Yes, Let me sir. ask you this. This I'm just spitballing. I don't know. Okay. Can the demand get high enough someday that you think you could do this full time or would you ever do it full time? I, the pricing structure right. would have to increase. That's what I mean. But, but that usually increases with demand, right? right. When the demand increases, hey, my time is limited. I can't, I, you know, blah, blah, blah. I, to be honest with you, uh, I, I would love to because, you know, you, all, you go through life looking for something that you're passionate about, right? right? You say if you love what you do, you'll never work, what, a, day you, you never life, work yeah. a day in your life yeah, again. Yeah. And so, yeah, I, I appreciate where I'm at as my main job. Yeah. They've been great to me. And I, I, like I said, I, I enjoy that. But just something I actually want to just get home and, and do and yeah. excited about because seeing that end product and the validation of, of you know people's faces of yep. giving them the shoe, like that, that's what excites me. Yeah. And then I've always been a huge fan of, of sports, you know. Um, and so having that connection back Absolutely. to sports has been super cool yeah. so again it's like a, a double whammy right yeah. there for me uh, so i eventually would love for it to be but how far does this right. this wave truly run right because yeah. i will tell you the price point does affect some and that's kind of another reason why i want to slow down yeah. there are some that that want to you know represent my brand and if i do slow down i, I do like to do favors for for yeah. people and not make them you know pay an arm Crazy, and a leg. Yeah. yeah absolutely yes sir what do you think the ceiling is before I let you go? What you mean? Like what? Okay. So if it isn't you doing this full time, uh -huh. where do you see it going? Do you see people, do you see yourself training people someday? Do you see it growing and going to other places? So I would I, look, and I always tell people my, my inbox is always open. If there's a creator out there yeah. that has a question, yeah. I, I love it. Yeah. Um, 
I don't know why I would. I, if anybody wants to come train with me and help, yeah. and then take it and run, it I would never it. Yeah. offend me. Uh, but yeah, I would. I would eventually love to to see one of my kids. Yeah, take it over. My That'd sweet little cool. Bailey. She's uh she's my my middle child. She's the one that always helps me with the weeding out the elephant prints dentals. Yeah. And I've been kind of incorporating voice here lately. Nice. He just peeled some. Uh, some tiger stripe stencils. So ultimately, I'd like to see them kind of take it and yeah. run with it. Which I, why I gave it the name Duncan's Custom Kick. Yeah, know? I, love I it. wanted to keep it. Uh, yeah. General, you never know who which Duncan. You might never take know. It yeah. I love it. Yes, sir. Well, good stuff, man. Thank you again. This was awesome. I appreciate the time. I know you're a busy man, so um, looking forward to the journey and, and keeping supporting you, man. No, this is awesome. This is yeah. actually my first uh, podcast podcast yeah. interview. I did Let's I did go. a magazine for two two five, but the sitting yeah. down and and discussing. I, yeah. So I'm really appreciate it. You killed it, dude. You were, yeah, yeah. You, you killed it. Yeah. Seriously. Thank you thank very you. much. Yeah. yeah. Well, Can't you. wait to see it. Love it.